I'm Miss Nicole, and this is Ellie. Ellie, and we're from the Willamina Library. And I'm from Doc McStuffinsville. Okay. We're from the Willamina Library, and we are going to do a drawing video today. We've been doing some drawing videos in our story time, which happens every Wednesday at 10 in the morning on the Facebook, Willamina Library Facebook page. Um, so we sometimes incorporate drawings in those. We also read books and sing songs and have lots of fun. You should join us. But we thought, I thought I would do just a, one, a drawing video and we'll do a few of these maybe. We'll start today. Our theme is space. We're gonna go into space. Are you ready? Here's, here's my mark, marker. Yes, she's using a pencil. I'm gonna use some markers. You can use whatever you want. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm not totally tech savvy, so you guys have to bear with me, but I think this is gonna work. So we are going to go to space today. I got all these, I got all of these doing mark cross to, to, to draw different color aliens. Okay, Ellie has hers to draw, there's some paper for you. Okay, so we're gonna start. In order to go to space, we need an astronaut. Why don't we all be the astronauts? Let's draw ourselves. So there's, I'm gonna start up here and draw our astronaut selves. We'll start with the head, or the helmet, right? And you can do an inside piece to the helmet. Okay, so there's a few different ways to do an astronaut. I'm gonna do it uh, this way, which is kind of a cute little astronaut. Maybe I'll show you a different way too. Let me just go make the body. And I learned this cool trick that if you don't know how to make feet like me you just make these kind of arches and there's your big astronaut feet because you know they got their big boots on right uh, I do that. So, oh, okay so then you make but you can make it big and bulky because these astronaut suits are big and bulky and your big gloves almost looks like a snowsuit so that's a possibility. You know what, I'm gonna put an antenna on it so I know it's some kind of space thing. So that's one way to do it. You gotta put on these little things on the uniform so you're saying like, hey look, I'm an astronaut. That's what those say. If you were to zoom in close, it says, I'm an astronaut. Now, I like to do the eyes just cause it's cute. All right, so there's one way to do an astronaut. Now let's say we wanna take our friend with us. So we're gonna take another astronaut friend with us and they might have a slightly different suit. So I'm gonna do, we'll take our friend, we're gonna call our friend uh, George. I'm gonna take George with us. So George is a little bit bigger than us. I can do. And George has a slightly different suit. You can do like a little neck piece if you want. And then down. Like this. And then George needs some boots. Remember they can be big. Big space boots. And then we can just kind of you know, we can't actually see. He can look out, but we can't see him. And George needs some hands. He's gonna wear big gloves into space. I got this big orange marker. And then you have this one. I have these really big markers. You know what, George? George looks ready to go to space, right? So we've got George and we have, what should we name this little guy? Maybe her name is uh, Jessica. We've got George and Jessica going to space. So they need, how are we gonna get 
get to space. I think they need a spaceship. So let's do an orange spaceship. So make room on your paper, find room on your paper for a spaceship for George and Jessica. And so well, this is gonna be where the top of my spaceship is. So I'm gonna start right here and go down. And then you can do from your other, the point again up at the top and kind of go down and curve a little bit because you're making this kind of spaceship shape. Connect the lines at the bottom. Oh no, I, I see I made a mistake guys because I didn't leave enough room right here for my wings. So I'm gonna try to just pretend like the wing's going behind George. That was my mistake. And then on the other side, so then connect your wings. This one's a little bit short, my bad. My wings are super big that they can fly. So I just do little leg lines. Um, I wish I wouldn't have messed that up. So then George and Jessica, they want to be able to see out. So we're going to give them a window. We give them a window so they can see out. Okay. And then you can add other details. You know, I'm tempted to start this video over because I messed that up, but I'm not going to because mistakes are okay. You know, I, sometimes I get really upset when I make mistakes and then I have to remember that it's okay. So I'm going to put these little like rocket boosters or whatever they're called. If you guys know any astronauts or space engineers who want to come and tell us what all the parts of the spaceship are called, that would be so cool. So, okay, so our spaceship is pretty much done. We've got our astronauts. So we're ready to get in the spaceship. They are ready to go to space. So they're gonna get in and they're gonna do their countdown. 10, I nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! They're going into space and I'm gonna put my the flames coming out because that's the rocket taking off. They're flying through space. They're going so far and so high. Their Earth is just a speck now. Now they're passing the moon and the sun. Oh my gosh, they're getting way beyond our solar system, beyond our galaxy to places they've never been. They're starting to see planets that they've never even heard of before. They decide to land on one of these planets because it looks really cool. So let's draw this planet that they're gonna go to. So the cool thing about planets, especially if you're drawing planets that are like so far away, we don't even know anything about them. We're making them up. So you can make them look however you want. I'm gonna make this planet have rings just because I think that's fun. And it has some rings. And maybe a, your planet could have rings or stripes or, you know what? George and Jessica wanted to stop at this planet because they thought it looked really cool because it was blue. Mine has, mine has, mine's like blue and it has lots of lines and some dots. Yeah, so George and Jessica were going to stop at this planet because it's polka dot. Have you ever seeing a polka dotted planet, they just had to stop. So maybe your planet has stripes, maybe it has stars, maybe it's shaped like a triangle, that would be weird. But you can make your planet however you want. My planet is blue with polka dots. So George and Jessica are going in for a landing on their spaceship, but oh my gosh, they're hitting some turbulence and they, oh, they crashed right onto this planet. So they get out to check the damage and it turns out that their spaceship is broken. This wing, I guess I it just it couldn't land right cuz 
it wasn't made right, I guess. So now they're stuck on this planet. Now it's a very cool looking planet. See, they this, don't want to stay there forever. These, so are, get, these are both of my planets. A circle cool. planet and a triangle. Very cool. So they don't want to stay there forever. So they have to just figure out how to get home. So they decide to go for a walk. And they're walking along this weird planet. And they see their very first alien. I'm gonna draw my alien right here. Aliens are even cooler than planets because you can really make them however you want. My alien is gonna have three eyes because that's cool. I'm gonna do antennas, you know, because that's cool. Now, our alien sees George and Jessica and the alien is a little bit surprised and a little bit nervous. So I'm going to give it like a weird, like, um, what's your, what's going on there? Face. I'm going to make a body for our alien. You can like make your alien however you want because we don't know what aliens look like. We don't know if they're even real. So in our story, they can look however we want. <laughs> Ta-da. Hey. Ellie's alien looks really cool. I'll show you guys Ellie's when we're all done. So I'm gonna give her little arms. My aliens have three fingers, but your aliens could have eight fingers or no fingers. They could have seven hands and one foot. I'm really curious to see what kind of aliens you guys make. So George and Jessica meet this alien and turns out she's a really nice alien and her name is Stephanie. And Stephanie is really wanting to help them because they're stuck on this planet. Stephanie says, you know, I have a friend and she is a spaceship expert. In fact, she loves spaceships so much she lives in a spaceship. And George and Jessica are like, oh my goodness, please take us to this person. Maybe they can help us. So we're gonna draw an alien that's inside a spaceship, okay? So we'll start head circle I'm gonna make this one have three eyes again because I just think that's cool but you know what your aliens can look however you want and Stephanie the spaceship expert she is happy so that's a happy face she has these cool ears and you know what she has antennas too So now we're gonna do her body. I'm gonna start with a collar for her too, like that. And then her body can just go down and down. And we're gonna stop because we're gonna put her inside of the spaceship. Because remember, she is a spaceship expert, so much so that she lives in one and she just is always with it. So to do that, I'm gonna do a circle around Stephanie. So. I'm gonna start up maybe like a little less than halfway up her body and you can put a line. And then I go ahead and do a line on the other side too so I know where my line's meeting up. So start and you do your circle around her and then you're gonna have your lines going down. So that's the first part of your spaceship. To make the rest of it, start from the same spot on one side, but you're gonna make kind of a bigger circle around. Then go back and then meet back up again okay and then I kind of start at the bottom and do this line it just gives it some depth I guess okay so there is Stephanie the spaceship expert you know anytime I see like alien things or UFOs or whatever drawings and cartoons they always have these little dots I don't know what they're supposed to be but I'm gonna put mine I think it makes it look like a spaceship maybe so the one thing Stephanie is going to help them, she's like, oh yeah, I can help you get back home. Um, I can help you build a spaceship to get back home. But she doesn't have any arms, so I think she might need those. So let's uh, give her some arms. Okay. So she has her little arms, her three fingers. That's how my aliens are. So here we've got Stephanie and her spaceship. She is going to help George and Jessica get home by making them a spaceship. And 
This is our last thing. They are so ready to get home. So we're gonna do a spaceship right over here. So, yeah, okay. We'll start with like an upside down U kind of. Do, give yourself a little bit of room. Like, yeah, just like a little hill shape. And then you go connect the bottom pieces like that. Okay. So for this, I'm gonna do the same thing I did up here to do the circle around. So I'm gonna mark on each side. It helps me know where to meet up again. And do a circle around. So this is a spaceship that also looks like a hat. So Ellie and I were thinking it was funny that if we ever wanted to do a drawing video about how to make hats, we have a way to start because this spaceship kind of looks like a hat. So you can add your bottom just like we did up here. Add a bottom piece. Still kind of looks like a hat, huh? So then you could just add your details. So I'm going to do an antenna because uh, antennas on everything today, right? You got to be able to communicate. Let me do a little detail here. You know, Stephanie knows how much George and Jessica really like their windows on their spaceship. And they like to be able to see. So I'm going to give Stephanie's building this with three windows. Thanks. Okay. And you know what? It almost looks like an ice cream sundae or something. Or a spaceship. Now, they're gonna go back to Earth and they need to be able to land safely. So you wanna, you can give them some landing gear if you want. Just kinda like that. All right. Oh, Stephanie, or no, thank you so much, they said, Stephanie, we're so appreciative. George and Jessica are just so happy. They're, they had a really nice time on the polka dotted planet, but they are ready to go home. So as they're leaving, they get in their spaceship and they take off. And I'll show you one more drawing. This will be our last one. Because Stephanie said, hey, when you're out in space, be sure to look out for these, like, icky kind of scary aliens. And she drew a picture so that they would know what they look like. Now, this kind is the kind of aliens, like, I always, like, draw my notebook when I like 13. And they're like not as cute. But let's see. Okay. Careful, please. So do a little oval. And then you do a little shifty eyes. And you can kind of color them in. I made him smiling, but it's kind of, it's going to be scary. Okay. So Stephanie drew this picture for them and said, you know, watch out for those aliens. They're not as nice as us. And Oops. that's it. I just got this marker. They said, thank you so much for all your help. They took their spaceship that Stephanie built them. They got in their spaceship. And three, two, one... Blast off! They flew all the way back to Earth. The end. All right. Thank you, guys. I hope that you liked our story. We had fun. We made a real. I want to see all your pictures. So this is what we made. Ellie, you want to show yours? And Ellie made some. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, her little aliens. I love it. So I want to see everybody else's. If you drew some, go ahead and post them for us. And we're so glad you joined us. And I'm going to do another one. If anyone has any suggestions or themes for stories I could draw, remember, I am only an adequate drawer. So it's going to be, like, kind of easy. Okay. Thanks, guys. That was fun. 
Have a good weekend. Bye.